Welcome to the IVC General Data Protection Regulations video. As you may have heard, as of the 25th of May 2018, businesses across the European Union will be required to follow General Data Protection Regulations, which will take the place of the Data Protection Act. GDPR has been introduced to ensure new strict regulations surrounding data protection and will improve transparency, fairness and lawful processing of everyone's personal data. The increasing use of information technology means that more personal data is being collected, stored and used by organisations and on a global scale. This means there is an ever-increasing risk of loss or misuse of data which will result in implications for not just client data but also all IVC employees' information. In this video we are going to cover six main objectives to help you understand the information surrounding GDPR. These are understanding the key concepts and terminology of GDPR, recognising the importance of protecting personal data and identifying which information this applies to, identifying the principles of data protection, understanding and explaining the importance of data subjects under the Act, recognising the responsibilities of data controllers and outlining the consequences of non-compliance. The EU General Data Protection Regulations, otherwise known as GDPR, is intended to establish one single set of rules across Europe, making it simpler for organisations to do business across the Union. The GDPR governs how all personal data is processed and places specific responsibilities and duties on you and your organisation if personal data is used. The GDPR applies to personal data, meaning any information relating to an individual person. Examples of personal data are listed below. The GDPR also regards some personal data as more sensitive and is called special category data. This data is subject to additional protection and includes information such as race of ethnic origin, political opinions, religious beliefs, health and sexuality. As more organisations hold data on IT and communication systems, and with more sophisticated tracking of consumer preferences on search engines and websites, threats on privacy have become a main concern. These threats are broken down into three categories. Unintentional actions. This is leaving data where it can be seen easily, such as a logged on computer. Hardware or software crashes or failures. And disclosing information without prior approval. Intentional actions, which is where a person can intentionally misuse personal information, for example by changing details without authorization, stealing data or using bribery to extract data. And finally, crime. This can be implantation of malicious software such as malware or viruses. A data subject is any living individual that the personal data relates to. In this case, this will mainly be clients and IVC employees, but may include other groups as well. We're all data subjects. Whenever you book a flight, use a credit card or browse on the internet, you disclose some personal data, and an organisation may store information about you. Data subjects can be customers, suppliers, clients, patients, or any other person about whom information is held. GDPR upholds fundamental rights for anyone who has personal data stored by your organisation. A data controller is an individual or organisation who determines the purpose and manner in which any personal data is processed. In this case, the data controller is IVC. Controllers are responsible for ensuring that any processing activities are performed in compliance with the EU data protection law. Controllers must implement appropriate technical and organisational measures, not only to ensure compliance, but also to demonstrate that measures are in place. This responsibility lies with not only IVC head office, but also practice staff. Data controllers are responsible for the following. To remain up to date and continually review data protection legislations, monitor and control what data is collected, and why this data was collected, and whether it is still needed. A data processor is a separate organisation or individual that processes personal data on behalf of the data controller. This could include examples of payroll, external HR companies, 
laboratories, microchip companies, debt recovery companies and IT services. A data protection officer or DPO ensures that an organisation complies with its data protection regulations. For IVC this is our Head of Information Security, Kira Lilly. The data protection principles provide the conditions in which an organisation is permitted to process personal data. Organisations need to ensure that their data processing activities are carried out in accordance with the data protection principles to avoid any unauthorised processing. These principles are fair, lawful and transparent. Personal data must be processed lawfully, fairly and in a transparent manner in relation to the data subject. It requires that organisations take additional care when designing and implementing data processing activities. Purpose limitation. Personal data may only be collected for specified, explicit and legitimate purposes and must not be further processed in a manner that is incompatible with those purposes. Data minimisation. Personal data must be adequate, relevant and limited to what is necessary in relation to the purposes for which those data are processed. Accuracy. Personal data must be accurate and kept up to date. Every reasonable step must be taken to ensure that personal data that is inaccurate is either erased or rectified without delay. Storage limitation. Personal data must be kept in a form that permits identification of data subjects for no longer than is necessary. There are specific provisions on the processing of personal data for historical, statistical or scientific purposes. Integrity and confidentiality. Personal data must be processed in a manner that ensures appropriate security. This includes protection against unauthorised or unlawful processing and against accidental loss, destruction or damage using appropriate technical or organisational measures. Accountability. The requirements of the accountability principle is to demonstrate compliance with the principles and states explicitly that this is the data controller's responsibility. The accountability principle ensures that organisations will still need to keep a record of how they comply with their obligations. IVC Central Office will provide you with a designated contact email and telephone number where you will report any potential data breach. You will then receive further instructions of how to proceed. Failing to notify a breach when required to do so can result in a significant fine. In recent years, there have been numerous incidents where personal data has been stolen, lost or subject to unauthorised access. By following some basic guidelines, you can help prevent security breaches and unauthorised access. These basic guidelines are password protection, locked record and filing cabinets, log off or lock unattended computers, report suspicious cyber incidents, secure the premises, don't provide personal information over the phone, destroy records where applicable and IT security protection such as antivirus. The ICO has the power to take action against those it believes have not complied with the data protection legislation. Listed below are the main offences and penalties for non-compliance. If you are in doubt about any of the information provided, please email our designated GDPR team at gdpr at independentvetcare.co.uk.